long time no vlog. I haven't vlogged since Vlogmas and that's because the last few months have just been chaotic. When I was doing Vlogmas, I had a new job at that time, but unfortunately the job just wasn't the right fit for me. So I was going through a lot to try to find a new job, but uh, Fast forward to now, I work remotely. So that is pretty awesome. And working remotely allows me to save more money because when I used to work the corporate world, when I have had to go into an office, I spend money on like lunches like all the time. And I also bought a lot of like pastries and like little snack stuff whenever I was like really bored at work or like had a very slow day. Um, it was really bad, but now that I work remotely, I eat lunch at home all the time um, because I'm like not that lazy uh, to make lunch anymore and I have time and also I have shorter lunch uh, times now that I work from home just because yeah I only have 30 minutes instead of one hour so I don't really have time to like go out and go get something and anything that is near me isn't really that close to go and get something quickly which is awesome just provides me with more opportunities to like cook for myself and uh, make food and all that kind of stuff so it's awesome so along with that um, today was a really nice day I took a walk and went to the mall and decided that you know what I'll treat myself a little bit and also pick up some things that I wanted to stock up on and I just wanted to show you guys what I got today because uh, I got a few things that I normally wouldn't get and uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to do a lot of shopping for a while. I'm probably just going to shop this weekend and then the Calgary Expo is next weekend and I'll probably get a few things there. There are some t-shirts that I really want to get there from there. Um, so I'll show you guys those when I vlog at that time. But anyways, let's get on to the haul. And that was a really weird gesture. So I went to this Korean Mart. I'm going to show you the bag. So it's called Ariang, Ar Ariang Oriental um, Foods. Yeah. <laughs> My main focus when I went there was to get some seaweed salad because I freaking love seaweed salad. It is just so awesome. And they are like the only place, like I can only find seaweed salad at the Korean Marts here. And uh, I tried my best to find the one that was packed the most recently because I want this to last a bit longer than a week. Um, but it's just so good. It's just seaweed salad. And if you like wet seaweed or like wakame, you will love this stuff. It is so good. I love putting it in my wraps. I put it in my salad sometimes. I just have it as a side with noodles or rice or whatever. It's great. So I'm gonna actually put this in the fridge now because it's been in my bag for probably half an hour. I am back now. Okay. And then the next thing that I got from there was actually this tea. Um, this is like $8. It's ume flower tea. And then when I saw the photo, it kind of reminded me of cherry blossoms. So I don't know if it's the same thing as cherry blossoms, but it does say on the ingredients here that it's plum blossoms tea. And sometimes I think cherry blossoms are kind of like almost the same flower as a plum blossom. I'm not sure about that, but I'm, I'm super excited for this because I've been more reliant on tea lately. I realized that coffee has a weird effect on me, like it kind of makes me feel nauseous. So I don't know if it's the way I brew my coffee or it's the coffee that I'm buying, but I'm trying to drink more tea. And uh, I, uh, I had a sore throat yesterday, so um, this is going to really help me I could get my throat back into shape because I have to talk a lot on a daily basis. So I'm looking forward to having this tonight. The next thing that I got was actually some Black Thunder. This was around $8 and this is Black Thunder Gold, which I guess it has like um, like toffee pieces in it or something. Yeah, I don't know. This is Dan's favorite chocolate bar from Japan. So I kind of got this more for him, but I will probably try one. I just haven't seen this being sold here actually. Um, so I thought it was a good opportunity to go get one and I don't know what gold means so I want, wanted us to try it out. Yay. The last item that I got was this um, Sangria Hojicha tea. It's green tea, roasted green tea 
and it was $2.99 which is a little bit of ex expensive but at the time that I was buying this I was really thirsty and I still am so I'm gonna I'm gonna try this it's still cold which is great because that's what I need mm, it's pretty good it tastes very much like roasted green tea Mm. If you haven't had hojicha before, or this before, it tastes kind of like a smoky tea. It's kind of like, it's almost like drinking coffee. Like it almost has the same taste as coffee does. It's really good. And it's not sweetened either. And it's got vitamin C in it apparently, so yay. That was it that I got from the Korean Mart. I was going to buy like sesame oil too, but then it was kind of expensive there. And I was going to buy those Korean fire noodles, but then I realized, why would I do that? Because uh, that's, uh, you know, they taste really good, but they are very painful. So I was like, no, uh, I'll pass that for now. I went to London Drugs. I got some uh, makeup pad things. No, what are they called? Facial pads, facial cotton pads. I was going to get these from Dollarama, but I decided not to because I was already at London Drugs and they had a 200 pack and it was only like three something. So I thought I would get it. And uh, with London Drugs, I have like a points thing. So I just will add to that. I use these a lot just for my toner when I'm toning my face to remove all the excess stuff from my face. I've always wanted a foundation brush. I used to have one when I was in junior high. I got a foundation brush from Eco Tools. It was like $10.99, a little bit pricey, but it adds to my point bank. So um, I'm looking forward to using this because I'm starting to use foundation a lot more. The last thing I got from London Drugs was Vino Active Naturals uh, Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I got this uh, because this was actually what I was also looking for today. I wanted to get cotton pants I wanted to get lotion and I wanted to get seaweed salad like those were just the three items that I was looking to get today but I definitely got a lot more so I went to H&M so at H&M I spent a bit of time there because I realized that my ideal wardrobe is changing to like florals from pastels and it's so hard to find specific florals that I actually like. I'm very picky in that way. H&M only had like crop tops and dresses and kitty strap tops and stuff and I didn't really want those. But then I found this. Um, so it's like, it could be a crop top but it's not. So it's great. It's just a floral shirt. And I like this pattern. I like this kind of a color scheme for my florals. Like the white with like the pinky pinky flowers and then a bit of the green um, that is like what I really like they had a what do you call it like a blouse with no sleeves version like a tank top ish version and I was gonna get that but then I realized no nah, I don't I don't want not I just I want like a shirt or a t-shirt and I found one so it looks really cute and then last I actually went to Simon's and my primary goal there was to get these cute and adorable dust bunny cloths. They have little tiny bunnies on them. I really need to clean the house today, so I'm gonna clean the house using these. Um, I usually use microfiber cloths, like the ones that have like the fibers that you can actually feel and like see, but I realized those uh, trap too much of like my hair in them and it's kind of gross like using that to uh, dust things. So I thought I would try this more because I don't think hair would stick as much to this as it does. And I got lucky today because apparently this is actually the last one. They only had two. Yeah, that is my haul. I also bought a pretzel from Mr. Pretzel the Toscana one which is red pepper garlic and parmesan oh my gosh it was delicious it was like a, such a good lunch item for myself and it was only like less than four bucks so I highly recommend Mr. Pretzel if you do have one in your area and uh yeah I am gonna go and I think finish my hojicha because it's so good and I should probably make dinner it's seven o'clock. Thanks for watching my haul today, my little vlog update thing as well. And I will vlog again tomorrow. Bye.